All right, time for another episode of Shadow Era Meltdown Miller. Uh, we are uh, going to play another game right now. All right. So let's see uh, what we do. All right. As usual, we start with our first choice, which is one Shattered Fates, two Call of the Crystals, and one Dark Prophecies. Let's see what kind of heroes we have. Uh, almost all are weapon-based heroes, which means that we're looking for what big teeth? Nope. And uh, looks like these are the only real weapons here. Maybe something at the end. No, we don't want that one. So, is that really the only way to get back? All right. Uh challenge go back next one shattered fates one call of the crystals and two dark prophecies zeldar elementalist those are good cards let's see if we can get infinity core nope we got antimatter for card draw but that's it nope back battle All right, Meltdown. Next, one Shattered Fates and three Dark Prophecies to increase our chances of getting Infinity Core. Still no Infinity Core. Banebow. So, all right, let's keep moving. Next, we'll do one Shattered Fates. And three Call of the Crystals. We won't get Infinity Core here, but, uh... Okay, let's see. What big teeth, maybe? Nope. Nope, no good either. Alright, let's see. One la... A few, a few more options we have here. So, then we'll do two Shattered Fates and two Dark Prophecies. Okay, let's see. Cards... Cards we're looking for? Nope. Still nothing. Still no good. Card draw? Not much either. So, we don't like that either. Alright. Let's see before we start uh, making some hard decisions. One, uh, I'm sorry, two Shattered Fates, one Call of the Crystal, and one Dark Prophecy. Okay, those are good allies. All right, I like um, Vosician Orders. Do we have any other card draw? Did we have any other card draw? None other than Bazaar. Not impossible. Okay, some decent weapons there. All right, one last try. Definitely no... Uh, no... Uh, Infinity Cores in this one, but maybe some good weapons... I only saw one weapon in there, so unfortunately we can't use Gwyneth. All right. Let's try that first one again, the, or the second one, this one. So Zaladar, Tidal Wave, what other kind of card draw do we have? Antimatter. We may just do this one. But which one do we want? Alright, we'll go with Ele Elementalists. This isn't an ideal deck for us, but we want to do our best. Obviously, that's what Meltdown is all about, is doing the best with what you've got. These are some good allies in here. Io Void Leviathan is great for Zaladar. I mean, I'm sorry, Elementalists. Get some good attachments here. Night of the Golden Dawn, very powerful also when powered up. And there's our antimatter. Xantonite. We will not use temporal disturbance like we sometimes do. Bloodthirsty is great though. So is Bog Dweller, Knight of Unaxio. These are all fantastic cards. Exaltation is great. What is this? Uh, that looks fun, but I think we're okay. We'll take that. And that. And that. Oh, that's what Samet looks like, huh? Ah, cool. All right. And this. All right, let's see if uh, we can do well here. Waiting for an opponent. If this takes too long, I will go and edit this out. In the meantime, don't forget to sign up for Shadow Era Meltdown Miller. Oop, there we go. Uh, 
we are doing uh, new Meltdown matches every Monday. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe. Okay. Um, the, fun the funny thing with the bigger they are is our allies will probably be the one that gets killed because of the bigger they are. So let's... Um, as much as I love that card, I'm going to go get rid of it. I like these other ones. We'll probably, uh, unless we get a decent ally next, I think Antimatter is going to go down. Banebow is a good opponent against Elementalist because his shadow ability does not do that much damage. Every three turns, we get to increase our ally's health by three, and he can only deal two damage to any ally uh, every three turns. They also have a full deck, which means that they're probably not the uh, most... Uh, uh, experienced player. Do I want to get rid of Bloodthirsty? I like uh, now that they're doing foils on here. You get this little uh, animation here to uh, as though you were showing off the um, the as though you were showing off the uh, foil abilities, the foil looks of these cards, which is kind of silly in the digital game, but it's all good. Maybe I should have actually done Forgiveness on that last turn. What was the card that we got rid of? I already forgot. Ah, whatever. We'll see in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I probably should have gone and used that instead so that I'd, uh, if I get a three-powered, three-resource uh, ally, I could have used my ability on it already. As it stands right now, we're probably just going to go and end up using... Antimatter on the next turn. Dark Forge Knife, that's all right. Okay, that's an important card, so we're not going to get rid of that. Am I going to get rid of Artful Squire? I might. All right, let's use Antimatter. Which one will we get rid of? If we were playing this as an Infinity Core game, we would be keeping the poison gas and getting rid of czar modulator but we don't have a way of getting these allies back and uh, we are an ally based hero so it is more important that we keep those allies instead of uh, keeping the abilities so i think knight of unaxio is probably a good one to throw on next time is he going to use his shadow ability oh great okay that works for me uh, that way, um, on the next, he's going to make me discard cards, which is kind of annoying. Ooh, boomerang. That could have, uh, that could have been really useful. But anyway, it'll be pretty hard for him to take out whatever ally I put down. Ooh, is that the one I want to use? No, it is not. All right, Zara Modulator goes down. Knight of Unaxio. Use our shadow ability. Knight of Anaxio is now very, very powerful. Hopefully he doesn't have a way of disabling that. We have Tidal Wave for uh, if things get a little overwhelming on his side. I uh, should have looked up uh, what cards, uh, what's the other card that I discarded. Still waiting. Deepwood Bobcat. I think we'll just go ahead and kill uh, Dreadwolf on this turn. We'll take care of the Bobcat afterwards. Still waiting. Again, this is uh, version 2.913 that we are playing with uh, the slowly uh, updated... The slowly updated graphics leading up to version 3, we assume. Alright, so forgiveness. 
So what was the card? Oh yeah, the bigger they are. Well, we're not going to be able to use the bigger they are for a while because currently Knight of Unaxio is the biggest. Which means that if I used it, Knight of Unaxio would go and die. Uh, but yeah, that's a good card to have in the future. So he will probably use uh, his Deepwood Bobcat to kill Bridget. Okay, that's fine. Unless that is a uh, that's that. Uh... Okay. Ooh, very important card. I'll get rid of it. All right. So let's power up. Okay, great. So, we will use our Shadow ability on Knight of Unaxio, which powers up Io Void Leviathan, and now we can go and kill Deepwood Bobcat. Both of these allies are very powerful at this point. If he wants to use his Shadow ability, Io Void Leviathan is going to get even stronger. Without uh, Infinity Core, we're playing a much more conventional, uh, you know, offense-defense game. Uh, Ally-based. Uh, and uh, relying on card draw, although we don't want to go too crazy on it because we don't want to discard half of our deck. Uh, he has more cards than we do, which means that uh, if this game ends up going long, he'll... Uh, He'll end up milling us. I may have to go and use uh, discard an ability to power up Knight of Unaxio so that I can kill Murderous Hulk. All right. See, so we're, we're discarding a lot of cards here, so I want to be careful with that. All right. So what cards have we lost? Alden. That would have been nice. Boomerang and Reinforced Armor. Okay. I mean, not not impossible, you know. All right, so let's get rid of the bigger they are now because this is definitely the biggest we have. We'll draw another card. I know that we will end up uh, discarding stuff. Man, those are good cards. All right, see, this is this is what happens when you don't have Infinity Core. You get rid of uh, important uh, items. But allies are much more important for us in this game, so we just got to hang on here. I think after the next round of turns, I avoid Leviathan will finally be uh, undisabled. So that'll be very powerful. Both cards are extremely powerful. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so let's put down... Morbid Acolyte. So I think after this, I avoid Leviathan. No. Next turn, I think I avoid Leviathan is finally free. Hopefully. We have Lightning Hunter for extra damage, if that ends up being uh, a thing that we need to do. So we'll go and power up uh, Morbid Acolyte on the next turn, probably. Hopefully that'll uh, allow us to take down whatever ally he puts down. But that'll really only cause... That'll only uh, cause three damage, which means that we may have to use Lightning Hunter for another three, depending on what ally he puts down. Nothing. Interesting. Oh, now we have that. Okay, well, let's just uh, take our time here. So now... I will power up I Avoid Leviathan. So everybody is super duper powered now. I'm not going to put down any of these just in case he has Tidal Wave. We'll go and save that for later. Alright, now everybody is super powered. We can actually cause... Five, five, because of it, armor, 
We can cause 5 damage here and uh, 4 damage there. So 10 damage. Not that much. Another 2 if we wanted to uh, use his, uh, Knight of Anaxia's ability. Which I don't think we will. Okay. Put that down. Good. That works for me. Okay. Let's go and attack. We'll go ahead and attack. Try to wrap this game up quicker. Rather than later. There you go. Now Morbid Acolyte will be unfrozen. We will still have Lightning Hunter. As an option. Uh, basically we're just going to try to wrap this up. Uh, and honestly, as soon as Knight of Unaxio and I Avoid Leviathan are unfrozen, we should be able to finish this game. Unless uh, he would need to be able to uh, disable both of those allies. Or kill both of those allies before it would become an issue. I'll get rid of Rust Weevil, put down Snow Sapphire. Again, we're still, you know, uh, uh, we don't want to go too crazy here we should win this game and now everybody is unfrozen so unless he has tidal wave or supernova i think we've uh, won this game so so far doing pretty good on 2.91 um i still don't have it for ios as of the time of the recording of this video all right, let's just uh, take some time here. Let's have some fun. Is the game still over? No, it's not over yet. Okay. I mean, it is over. Okay. Oh, it is over. All right. Well, there you go, guys. So, uh, yeah, Meltdown is free now, so hopefully that uh, adds a lot more uh, players into the game. And uh, we'll have some more fun with uh, players like that, games like that. That was very nice. A lot of, uh, we uh, really dominated that game for the most part. They put down more items than we did, but for the most part, uh, we, we won that from the get-go. So... Very good game, nice and straightforward, even without antimatter and especially Infinity Core, so we did very well. Um, I will check you guys out next week. Bye.